So the song I'm about to do is very old, um, but I'm sure you will recognize it. Uh, it's, it was collected in the 1930s from Appalachia, but it could date back even, even longer, uh, even farther back and into, uh, into Europe. Uh, I said last time maybe even the 19th century. It's probably older than that. Um, yeah, but anyway. Back in the 1960s in the Greenwich Village Folk Revival, a lot of people were doing these uh, like traditional songs. It was kind of the, the norm to, to do all these traditional folk songs, but people would make them their own. It was, you know, adaptation. Not really covers, adaptation. And this one guy, Dave Van Gogh, um, did his own version of this song. And, um, and you know, it was pretty popular. It was a big part of his repertoire. And, one day he was hanging out in a bar uh, on McDougal Street called the Kettle of Fish, and his buddy walks in, there's a guy named Bob Dylan, I don't know if you know him, uh, and he asks, hey Dave, can I do your version of this song on my next album? And Dave goes, well, I kind of wish you wouldn't, because I haven't recorded it yet. Uh, can you wait? And Bob goes, uh-oh. And Dave goes, what do you mean, uh-oh? And uh, Bob goes, well, I like, kind of already recorded it. <laughs> yeah, Dave didn't like that, but uh, eventually he had to take the song out of his repertoire because everyone kept asking, hey, can you play that one Bob Dylan song? So, uh, <laughs> but then in 1964, uh, this group did it uh, with electric instruments and organs and everything, and uh, it huge, like even bigger than Bob's version, and it became the first folk rock hit. And, they, and Bob had to take it out of his repertoire because everyone kept asking him, hey, can you do that one animal song? <laughs> so, this is how the song goes.
Thank you.